What's going on YouTube? OCD for EDC here. And what I got for your face balls today. We are starting the quest for the ultimate Kapara. So I picked up, this is one of the CQI uh, Kaparas from Spyderco. This is a, a brand new uh, untouched variant. And we are going to do some odd work to this thing. And so in this video right here, uh, I am going to break this down. Oop, grab the wrong size. Hopefully at the end of it, we're going to end up with an awesome uh, Kapara that has all the things that you ever wanted a Kapara to have. And yeah, should be pretty cool. So we're going to make it look pretty cool. Uh, the Kapara is already a really awesome knife. So there's not a ton of things uh, that I'm going to... Um, well, I shouldn't say that, I guess. Uh, yeah, we are going to change the aesthetic up. Uh, but uh, we're not going to be, like, going crazy and, like, changing the shape and that sort of thing. Um, I, I really like the shape of the handle on this knife. Uh, and the blade shape on it is really good. Uh, Alistair Phillips did a fantastic job on this knife uh, already. So, it's already got a lot going for it but we're going to make it just a little bit better. So I'm guessing there's probably a few few mods that you guys uh, already know that's going to happen to this thing, uh, but there's probably a handful that you're not thinking about, uh, but it should, should turn out pretty cool. So, you know, since I'm filming the video, the dogs had to come over and drink water and walk back and forth and you know do all the things they lay down all day every day but not when the camera's rolling they got to get right up in there all right so just about got this thing opened up there we go there's the blade there so everything on here is um, uh, the uh, backspacers are d-shaped and so they're a pretty tight fit uh, the pivot also d-shaped and we, it has a pivot collar in here. Or not a pivot collar, but a pivot bushing, um, I should say. Are you kidding me? So one of the things about the Kapara that I don't like um, is how slick the carbon fiber is. So that's one of the things that we're going to fix about this knife. Now this is something that I've done on multiple Kaparas uh, for, for different guys. Um, and so we're going we're gonna to keep the carbon fiber scales, but we are going to improve them uh, from a texture and a grip standpoint. There, good lord. All right, so there's one scale, or one liner, I should say, and the back spacer. And then we've got the other side here. It's got internal stop pins, and then that uh, pivot bushing uh, right there. So that's, uh, that's the inside of the CQI Kapara. And when we come back in, We'll talk about uh, some of the mods that we're going to do on this and kind of which direction I'm going to take it. We are going to be building the Ultimate Manix 2. And we are going to start with this model right here. So this is the Manix 2 Lightweight in Maximet. And this is an absolutely gorgeous knife. Uh, 
for anyone that's been watching my channel for any length of time, you guys already know that I love uh, the Manix. It's one of my all-time favorite Spydercos, and the fact that this has a Maximet blade uh, just makes it that much better. And so we are going to do uh, quite a few mods to this and build the ultimate Manix. And yeah, so it should be a pretty good time. I think uh, I'm going to enjoy it anyway, and hopefully you guys do as well. So we're going to tear this thing apart. Uh, but first up, uh, here is our contact info. Uh, if anybody wants to get a hold of us, here's the places to do it. Our new website is down here. You can also get our email address and stuff off the website. All right, now on to some other uh, news. These two knives here are going to be uh, in an upcoming knife sale, which the knife sale will be posted on Saturday, March 13th. Uh, and kind of middle of the day, I'm not sure exactly what time it'll be posted up, but probably like around, uh, around 2 p.m. Central Time, something like that. Uh, this is a big knife sale. I'm selling off a bunch of the stuff that I have. Uh, some of you guys already might know, but uh, my wife, uh, Molly, has an upcoming surgery. And insurance doesn't cover all of it. Uh, so we're going to have to lay out some, some money for this deal. And it is what it is. Uh, it's got to be done. So, uh, you know, got medical bills to pay. Uh, but anyway... So, if you guys are interested in picking up any knives, we got a lot of cool stuff. It's a really, really big list. Uh, come and check out the knife sale posting on Saturday, March 13th, uh, give or take right around 2 p.m. Central Time. All right. Another thing that we got going on, we've got knife stands. Uh, Spyderco inspired knife stands. And I've also got... Benchmade knife stands. So these are just one knife stands. Um, so just a display stand. You can put your favorite Benchmade, your favorite Spider Co. So we're going to leave the Spider Co. out because I've got a couple Spider Co.s right here. We're going to take a look at these. So a couple. Some of you might already know. I've kind of been talking about this. Uh, I picked up a CQI Capara and a Manix. Uh, uh, lightweight Maximet and I wanted to mod these up and come up with what I feel is the ultimate Manix 2 as well as the ultimate Capara. So I've been working diligently on these two knives and now I'm going to show them to you. Um, I still have to sharpen both of them but otherwise they are complete so ignore the fact that it's not a shiny edge. So here is the Capara. Probably can't tell a whole lot uh, just from that view right there. But I have textured the, uh, the carbon fiber. I have acid uh, stonewashed the blade, acid etched, and then stonewashed the blade. I have also uh, put my logo, my maker's mark, uh, laser etched that into the blade. And of course, you guys know me, uh, so it's going to have a CME on it as well, but this isn't just any CME. It is a special multicolored CME. And it matches the custom one-off backspacer. So uh, the liners also have been acid etched and stonewashed. Uh, and this knife is perfect in every way. Uh, it's going to get a really good looking edge on it. Uh, we'll do a little mirror polished edge and she's going to be sexy. So uh, the carbon fiber is, like I said, textured so it doesn't slide around in your hand. Um, and this is just the standard S30V blade, but uh, the Capara is a really, really awesome knife. And this one here is really spectacular. I love the black and red. I think it looks super cool. Uh, the CME. And then I also, on the lanyard hole, it's kind of hard to tell from here, but I made the lanyard hole in the backspacer slightly smaller. 
and then I chamfered it so you can see more of that backspacer in the lanyard hole. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Of course, the dogs are going to go nuts. Okay, now we're back in. Dogs have quieted down. So anyway, here is the Capara with the backspacer, CME, acid etched and stonewashed blade. And the action on it is fantastic. Blade is perfectly centered. It's perfect. So uh, we'll just go ahead and throw it up on the old uh, Spyderco stand there. Okay, now, real quick, I'm going to show off one other knife. I know this uh, gentleman is pumped for his knife, um, and it'll be coming, uh, shipping out to him uh, very, very soon, probably uh, this afternoon or whenever this video posts. Uh, but we've got the uh, PM2 from Blade HQ. And this is the M4 variant with JG10, PM2 Tanto. And he wanted me to put my logo on it, so I did. Um, and I'm really pumped with the way it turned out. The acid stone wash on this thing looks amazing. Uh, I've got a CME for it. Um, i got to stick that on real quick. But uh, just trying to get everything uh, taken care of and worked out. But turned out awesome and loving that thing. Super cool. All right. Now, for the Manix. Hopefully you guys are uh, pumped on this thing. I really dig it. So, you know the drill. I had to get rid of the plastic ball cage. So, we got a really sweet uh, flitanium ball cage. And then, you guys have seen me do the uh, hardware change out on a couple different Manix lightweights. Uh, well, I was down to the last bit of hardware that I had. The stuff is uh, basically impossible to get. I had countless numbers of people asking me where to get the hardware. And even had some people get mad at me. Like I had some trick or something or that I was able to... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the reality is that the hardware is next to impossible to come across. I just happened to get really lucky and I was able to get my hands on a hand, a small handful of uh, the, both the male and the female sides of these Chicago screws. Uh, anyway, this is the end of it. This is the last of them right here. Um, I only had enough to do a couple of knives, and so this is the end of it, and I figured it'd be, go out with a bang. And so here we go. Uh, this is a blacked out hardware. Um, Manix 2 Lightweight in Maximet, Acid Stone Washed Blade, it's gorgeous, it turned out absolutely beautiful, we've got a black titanium, or uh, uh, this is actually the aluminum, um, uh, flitanium ball cage in there, uh, which goes along with the uh, Lightweight, and it's just beautiful. I acid etched and stone washed the backspacer as well. Now, it's not quite as dark as the Maximet, but I think it looks fantastic uh, the way it is. And its uh, action on it is absolutely fantastic. You know, we had to do the black clip as well as the black hardware. It's also got my OCD for EDC logo or maker's mark on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. This knife is, yeah, it's about as cool as it gets for a Manix Lightweight with the best, uh, the best blade combination uh, with the ball cage, with everything. So both of these knives, the Capara and the Manix 2 Lightweight and Maximet, both of them will be on the knife sale that's posting Saturday, March 13th. Like I said, around 2 p.m. Central Time. Uh, if you purchase a knife on the knife sale, you will be able to purchase one of these knife stands. Uh, we're going to make a little a bit of a deal on these knife stands. If you want one, uh, they'll be $5 off. These will be available on our website uh, very soon. 
Um, they, they will not go up on the website prior to the knife sale. So just to let you know. But if you purchase a knife on the knife sale, we'll knock five bucks off the cost of the knife stand. Um, so you can pick up one of those. And either one, the Benchmade or the Spider Co. These are the only two I have right now are Benchmade and Spider Co. And I'm only doing them in these color combinations, black and red, black and blue. Uh, but uh, they're really, really cool. And the knives uh, stand on them, awesome. They're just, they're really cool. And, you know, these kinds of things are hard to find or hard to get. Um, not many people make them. And I was talking to Zach the other day from Zach's stuff. And we were talking about how, you know, these knife stands are just kind of difficult to get your hands on. Um, to have anything that's kind of cool to display with. So, anyway, like I said, the Benchmade or the Spyderco. Uh, they're both going to be five bucks off. And that's really just because we can save a little bit on shipping. If you're already buying a knife. It's not a big deal to throw one of these in the package with it, um, but uh, there you go. So, Maximet, custom Maximet uh, Manix 2 and the custom Capara, uh, both will be in the knife sale. So, they will be sharpened up and ready to go. And whoever gets these knives, I think you're going to be super pumped on them because both of them are really, really cool. And, uh, yeah, I really dig them. So, there you go, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoy that. Uh, this one, however, is not for sale. Um, so, yeah, just showing off some work that I did. Uh, yeah. So, go, come and check out the knife sale. Uh, come and check out the website. And uh, we appreciate all the support. Thanks so much. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day. We'll catch you next time. Peace.